Hello friends, this is Sister Cora from the Daughters of St. Paul. Join me for today's reflection from the Gospel Power. Then Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? For the Son of Man is to come with His angels in the glory of His Father, and then He will repay everyone for what has been done. Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in His kingdom. As the firstborn of the new creation, Jesus indicates that the way to this reality that God is bringing about is the way of the cross. The cross of Jesus does not signify any kind of suffering. All of us have something to suffer, for no one in this world is exempt from the universal phenomenon of suffering. But the cross of Jesus points to a conscious and freely chosen kenosis or self-emptying, assumed for the fulfillment of God's mysterious purposes for the world. Take note, Jesus does not impose this on everybody, but invites whoever wishes. All of us are destined to become part of the new creation, but no one will be forced against one's will. Getting there would have to be a free decision to follow in the footsteps of Jesus in his conscious and wholehearted kenosis. If such is the case, how shall we all get there? That is a mystery we need to trust, for the God who promises to bring about new heavens and new earth is a faithful keeper of His Word. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us understand that the cross is the place where we part ways with the old creation in order to belong to the new. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever.